Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight is Lumber Tycoon 2 with Code Primate. Hello. And we um, are finally able to get back into Lumber Tycoon 2 without it glitching out too much, without the lag that there was. I do apologize if that video yesterday, yeah, yesterday was all kinds of laggy, but tonight we are going to try setting this thing up. I say tonight because it's like nighttime inside here. <laughs> Um, anyhow, I set up my picture for my little puppy. Good job, Code Red. Good job, buddy. And, uh, oh, I just picked up my axe again. Um, anyhow, the billboards are still up. I've gone and checked the, the blue wood path. It's still blocked off, so I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, let's go do this. Let's do this thingy. Let's do this thing. Um, I don't really need this anymore, so I'm gonna destroy it. Be gone. Go on. Alright, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need... I need to fix... I need to fix this. That's what I need to do. Because it's, it's falling down and things are happening, so let's do this. Uh, do I still have that wood prior? No, I, I got rid of it, didn't I? Okay. Let's move this off the way, out the way. Move that over there. And we want to set this up some, so let's go ahead and do the short smooth wall, which is currently rotated. Uh, turn, like that. Good, and finished. Or B, to finish. There we go, and then we'll set the conveyor on top of that. So it's gonna be a little backwards here. Oh gosh. Uh, let's do turn, rotate, turn. I can't, I can't see, I can't see anything. Oh gosh, all right. Is it, it's upside down. So turn, turn, here we go. That's what we wanted. I'll set this one right here. Nice and even, good. We'll just start moving all the pieces back into place. Boo. Can't get it. There we go. There's that. Nice and even. Good. Um, that was too far back. Darn. <laughs> All right. Can I move this one forward some? Move that one forward. Forward you go. There we go. Sweet. That'll work. That'll work, right? Yeah. And then we'll just move this wire off. Let's move this up here. Move. Right there. Finished. Move this one up to. Let's see, I need to do turn, rotate. Just like that. And. Oh, come on. Come on. Get on there. I need it to be even. Even, Steven. Can I get it on the opposite side? Oh, maybe maybe I need to go over to this side. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's gonna cut my head. Almost cut my head right off. Do you see that? Whoa, scary. Okay, let's get up here. That's, that's good, right there. No, it's backwards. All right, move. And we want to do turn, turn. And come on. Get on there, just like that. Maybe. I need to do turn, turn, like that. Rotate, rotate. There we are. Now turn, turn. Sweet. Will that work? Oh no, that's that's too much. Oh no. Actually, actually, that will probably work. Let's move this like this. And you're gonna go side by side. Just turn, turn. There we go, like that. There we are. That way the wire comes up the top and the wood will come and touch that just barely and then it will fall down because it will be perfect. Whoa, zoomed in a little close there. All right, let's move that wire off to the bottom. Finished. Let's move this. 
move. Uh oh, this is all kinds of turned. Uh, let's see, we need to do a rotate and a turn like that. Turn, turn, rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay. Oh gosh. Will that work? Oh no, the arms, arms coming way too far down. Mm, okay, let's move that out of the way for just a second. Like that. Let's take this one, which is our shadow wall. Shadow wall. We'll set it up like that. Now let's go up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Like that. There we go. Now we'll take this and set it. Oh, oh come here. Come here, you. Move. We'll set this right on top. I want to make sure that it's. Oh, gosh. I want to make sure that the pieces fall straight down. Now, why is this not even? Uh, that'll. Oh, is that too high? I can't tell if that's too high. Can I push the button from here? I can't push the button. Oh, I can. I can stand up there, can't I? Oh, oh no. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Oh, man. There we go. Sweet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Push the button. Let's make sure that the arm doesn't come down too far. The cut is just about right. Should get most big wood. And then we will set these. If I can grab them. Move. You are going to go. Where are you going to go? Let's see. Turn. Turn, turn. You're going to go just like this. There we go. There's one. And let's go ahead and do a second one. Move. We're going to push it to the left side. Not center, but left. And the reason for that is because if you look, the saw blade comes down on the left hand side now. Let's see, so it's more left. So that should be good. Okay. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is make this actually come out, make this turn inward. So the delivery is going to be right here, or we could have it turn, turn, and then come back up and then drop right here. So that way we could drop in here, or we could drop in on the opposite side and have it go up to there. So. That's a thought, an idea, and ideas we love. We love ideas, we love thoughts. Let's go ahead and move. And we're going to take this to right here. And I thought about this. I don't actually need to like come off of that second one. I mean, it's cleaner, but don't really need it. Finished, there we go. Let's move this one Link to here. If you watch, I'll go right across the wires themselves. Kind of like my signature does, but we have to split it right there. Finished. There we go. So both those wires go in one spot across each other. All right, let's do this. Uh, that's not going to be big enough. Do I have any elms? Hmm. Elm tree, please. Wait, was that? That is wire, right? Okay, yeah. I used wire, not a neon. I was worried for a second that I might have had a neon sign thingy on there, but... Oh, well. Am I recording? I am recording. All right. We're ten minutes in. Let's go grab that elm tree over there. That should be big enough. Let's grab the trunk of it. You are... Stop, stop, stop. All right, jump out. Hello, elm tree. You're going to be part of my experiment. My experimentation. You're going to be amazing. It's going to be so cool. There it goes. Wow, that is a huge log. So this this one right here, you could not toss into the sawmill max. 
um, it takes a maximum of 10 units long. Whoa. And that's, that's well over 10 units. Boink. Well, maybe. Possibly. All right, let's grab another one just in case. Oh, got it. Got it. Nailed it. And that one's good. Sweet. All right, grab this one out. Drop it in there like that. And drop it like a tot. And off we go. Almost done, almost done. I say almost done, but I'm probably still going to play for a little bit. All right. Let's try putting this in. Drop. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Fingers crossed. Nice. That is great. Look at that. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to have something to catch it, aren't we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is it stuck? Looks like it's stuck. No! So close. Such wow. So amazed. I don't know. Whatever the other doge meme is. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this. Come, oh, come on. Ooh. Come on, laggy McLaggerson. No. Whoa. Whoa. Why aren't you going in there? There you go. There you go. Sweet. Now you got it. So it's not dropping. Why is it not dropping? Oh, I wonder if it like got cut prior to... Because all the rest are doing pretty well. like sliced bread. That's awesome. Oh, uh, that one's not going to drop. Oh, oh, I dropped. Sweet. And then that one is just uneven. Oh. So that one's going to be stuck. No. Hold on. Can I... There you go, buddy. Sweet. So not too bad. I mean, that was that's actually really good. And how many how many units is that? I wonder. Here, let's uh, see how many units is the short wall. Hit B. Eight units. We drop this in, and it's seventy-seven percent. Eight times seventy-seven. Hold on. All right, it takes a total of eight, and eight is 100%. So eight divided by 100, no, eight, 77, eight times 0.77. So it's about six units. Six units is not bad. It's either four or six units. So I would say it's more close to four units. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four units. What about all of them? Are they all about that? There's 67. What about this one? Let's move that out of the way. 90. Whoa. That one almost had the full amount. So, that's pretty cool. Okay. So now, let's set this conveyor up. So it will receive wood from the opposite end and drop it in there. Oh gosh, we're all kinds of turned, aren't we? So we need to go turn, turn, turn. And nope, turn, turn. E. Hmm. Move. Rotate, rotate. Are we lagging? Are we lagging? Oh my gosh, we are lagging. We're lagging like crazy. 
I'm not going to be able to put that on there, am I? No. Why am I lagging so badly? Testing one, two. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Uh, something has happened. Something's, something's doing a backup or something's running. I'm going to go ahead and end it. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Play Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, on Slot 2 Solo Missions. Um, yeah, we made an awesome automatic chop saw. It's a little glitchy on that very last piece, but for the most part, everything cut into perfect units that I, I can use to build and create and awesomeness. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Love you guys very much. Oh, um, I'm supposed to shout out the t-shirts and stuff. Down in the description, there's a link to get the t-shirts. Um, it is not officially launched yet, but the um, the merchandise and stuff is coming to me. So I will do an official launch video with the merchandise and all that cool stuff. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.